Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Today we are talking about what is James Bond. And you might be thinking this isn't really a nerdy topic, but there are people that are huge, huge James Bond fans. So this is a very uh, exciting and passionate area for them. So I wanted to talk about this so that those of us that aren't as aware about the history and some of the backstory about James Bond can learn some of that. So let's dive in, what is James Bond? James Bond is a fictional character invented by British author Ian Fleming, featured in 12 novels and two short story collections. Fleming died in 1964, but other authors continued to write stories about James Bond. Since Fleming's run, there have been about 30 more Bond novels, some original works, and some novelizations of the movies. The first Bond feature was Casino Royale, a television adaptation of the novel of the same name, back in 1954. This Bond was really different, though, often being called Jimmy, and is featured as an American secret agent. Things got fixed a little bit when the first actual movie came out, being Dr. No in 1962. This was the debut of Sean Connery's version of Bond, which set the standard for the following movies. Here it's established that James Bond, also known as 007, is a suave and collected man of many talents and many vices. It's in this first movie that Bond utters for the first time... Bond. James Bond. This quote was chosen as the 22nd best quote of all time by the American Film Institute. Over the course of the next 50-something years, we've had 24 Bond films, with Daniel Craig being number six in the list of actors who have played him. George Lazenby is the only actor to only appear in one of the Bond films, at least in canon, everyone else appearing multiple times. In addition to the original Casino Royale TV adaptation, there was another Casino Royale film in 1967, made by a different studio and not considered in any sort of canon alongside the other films. Now the question of canon and continuity is a big one here when it comes to the James Bond films. Are all 24 movies connected in one timeline? Some people suggest that all the movies up through 2002's Die Another Day are connected, while the new Casino Royale with Daniel Craig starts a new continuity, like a reboot. Other people suggest that they're all connected, while they aren't released in chronological order. The 2006 Casino Royale might be the first movie in chronological order, with Spectre potentially being the last movie in order, the other 22 movies taking place somewhere in between those two. The easiest way to enjoy these movies is to not think about that, though. These movies were made to be fun and to enjoy on their own merits without worrying about 24 movies' worth of knowledge and backstory. This is easy to do as you usually don't need any sort of preface or preparation to enjoy these films independently. While they may or may not be connected, 007 has several reoccurring characters in these films to support him. The most important one is likely M, the title for the head of the Secret Intelligence Service, or MI6. This position has been played by a few actors and actresses, most notably Dame Judi Dench, and most recently Ralph Fiennes. Dench is notable because she was present in both the Pierce Brosnan films of the 1990s and the new Daniel Craig movies, bringing that question of continuity back into question. In addition to M, Bond also gets support from a position called Q, which stands for Quartermaster. This is the person that equips Bond with the tech and gadgets and weapons that he needs for the mission. These movies are known for their incredible technology, but every once in a while we get something like this, a submarine that looks like a crocodile. Q has primarily been played by Desmond Llewellyn, who played the part for more than 30 years. As an interesting note, the character Q is not from the original Ian Fleming novels, but was invented in the feature films. After the popularity in the films, later authors began to include that character into the novels. In terms of cultural impact, the James Bond films created an avalanche of copycats and clones. In 1966 alone, there were 22 mainstream secret agent films released, hoping to capitalize on this popularity. It became a genre of its own, even prompting parodies like the Austin Powers films. Beyond the movies, James Bond is also connected to a few other mediums, one of the standouts being the 1997 Nintendo 64 game GoldenEye, based on the movie of the same name. This game took some first-person shooter mechanics from computer games like Doom and Wolfenstein and managed to bring it to a console, alongside some exciting split-screen multiplayer action. It really paved the way for games like Halo and Call of Duty that would eventually become the standards in first-person shooting games. And that is the basic gist of the James Bond franchise, kind of where it came from, where it's gone, who's been involved, and hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight 
Let me know in the comments if you're a fan, maybe which James Bond movie you like the most, maybe what you thought of Spectre, did it live up to the hype of Skyfall, which is really good. Um, so let me know in the comments, and let me know, as always, what you want to see on future installments of What is Wednesdays. So catch you next time.